What happens if you take a classic side-scrolling brawler and throw in a healthy dose of RPG mechanics? I'm Kutsky, and this is my review of Treachery in Beatdown City. Get ready! I'm a huge fan of retro beat-em-ups like Double Dragon, River City Ransom, so it was the screenshots of Treachery and Beatdown City that initially caught my attention, but it was when reading the game's description as a turn-based brawler that really piqued my interest. Treachery and Beatdown City fuses the classic gameplay of a beat-em-up with a turn-based battle system of an RPG. It sounds crazy, but in practice, it feels really intuitive. You move around the playfield and you can throw basic punches, just like any brawler, but by hitting X you can freeze time, which allows you to select a combination of attacks based on how full your FP meter is and how many actions you have available. Hitting X again unfreezes time and unleashes the satisfying combo. These meters refill over time and are boosted by previously successful combos. You can gain temporary stat boosts and inflict status ailments on your enemies by chaining specific attacks together in the correct order. This is all good and well, but remember, the enemies can attack you with exactly the same opportunities. When this happens, you can brace, block or counter, depending on how many actions you have available and how much FP you have remaining when the enemy is attacking you. This adds a cool layer of strategy to a genre that can sometimes be a little bit mindless at times, as the game will frequently remind you, winners don't mash buttons. The story is the area that I thought the game really excelled. On the surface, it's nothing groundbreaking, the president's kidnapped and it's up to you and your crew to save him. The tone of the game, however, is very unique with its dark comedic take on serious social and political issues such as racism, police brutality and political corruption. It's clear to see these are all issues that the devs care about very deeply, but the playful way it's presented never leaves you feeling like you're having a political agenda forced upon you. It feels more like social commentary of the crazy world we live in, and the comedic approach to the presentation only helps highlight the absurdity of some of the real world issues that people have to deal with daily. I also have to mention the absolutely stellar soundtrack to the game. If you're a fan of chiptune, the soundtrack alone is worth the asking price. I did find the game more enjoyable in shorter bursts, as the gameplay can get a little repetitive when played for longer sessions. I found the gameplay quite linear too, with no real opportunity to explore and no real reason to revisit previously trodden ground. The witty writing was compelling enough that these two minor points were never really an issue, but adding some side quests to give you a reason to revisit previous areas and some variation in the gameplay from time to time might have been cool. Overall though, I absolutely enjoyed Treachery in Beatdown City. I love the presentation, it's completely unique to play and the story deals with some serious real world issues in a way that never feels too heavy. In my opinion, the asking price of £14.89 at launch in the UK is a fair value proposition for such an original and niche gaming experience, and I wouldn't hesitate recommending it to anybody looking for something fresh to break up the monotony of AAA experiences, if, like me, you find them a little bit stale at the moment. If you've enjoyed this review and found it helpful if so please do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with new videos that really does help me a lot and let me know in the comments what your favorite classic beat-em-up was from back in the day i think if i had to choose one i'd go with golden axe thanks for watching until next time this is kutsky signing out keeping the games alive <laughs> <laughs>